Hey, thank you for watching this video. There's more online at Embark Online. You can tweet me, and of course, here's the pie guy. All right, this is first grade module five, lesson 13. And in this lesson, students are gonna continue telling time. We're gonna continue doing to the nearest half hour or hour. Uh, but this time, we're gonna be kind of trying to add in some unique clocks, because not all clocks look the same. So let's get started. So here's what I'm talking about. You got these clocks, you got all these different kind of clocks. You know, this has a, your little num uh, spaces, the intervals, but it doesn't have any digits. You got Roman numerals here. You got this one. This one's kind of more of a classic clock. That one looks pretty classic. But this one, man, you got your Roman numerals. You got you don't have any numbers at all on this one. And then this one, gee whiz, look at this. You you don't have you don't have your intervals, you don't have any numbers. And so we want our students to begin the process of getting familiar with all kinds of clocks. So, hey, parents and teachers, turn it into a game. What time is this watch telling us? Or what time is this clock telling us? And let your students have fun. Let them work out the logic for how to tell time. I, I think a, a cool one is this one right here. Jeez, what time is that telling us? It's a little on the tricky side, isn't it? Clearly it's an hour, not a half hour, because the, the minute hand is pointing to the 12. But what's the hour? Well, it's not three, it's not six, so it's gotta be somewhere between three and six. Good stuff. So once our students have had plenty of time playing with the clocks and all the different kinds of clocks that they might be experiencing, now it's time to just tell the time. <laughs> it's time to tell the time. So fill in the blanks. So you've got, let's see, you've got this clock and that clock. And we are supposed to figure out which one of these clocks, clock A or clock B, shows half past three. Does this clock, and I'm going to zoom in, does that clock say half past three? Or does this clock say half past three? This one? Or this one? And we know, we could see that. Okay, the answer is definitely B. B shows half past three. And if we wanted to, we could go, oh, let's do this one. So we've got these two clocks, A and B, and we want to know which clock shows 8.30. Does this one show 8.30, or does this one show 8.30? And we see that it's answer A, it's clock A. So that's the idea, is just let your students learn how to practice telling time. Sometimes it's going to be analog, sometimes it's going to be digital. Parents and teachers, if your students need more practice with that analog clock, go to the GeoGebra applet that I created and use that um, applet and just let your students practice over and over. And the last slide is nothing but a bunch of practice, just tons and tons of practice. So we are going to write the time that each clock says. So what time does this clock say? It says one o'clock. What time does this one say? And of course, these half hour ones are always the more tricky, aren't they? So what time is this? Well, we know it's at the, at the half hour because the hour hand, uh, the minute hand is pointing to the six. So we know it's gonna say something 30. So what's the hour? Well, it's past the 11, but not quite to the 12. So that means it tells us that it is 1130. And that's the idea for this slide, is just tons and tons of practice, telling time. Sometimes it's digital, sometimes it's analog. We really want our kiddos learning those analog clocks, don't we? And the last um, slide for this video, put a check mark next to the clock 
four clocks, right? Because it could be more than one that show four o'clock. Well, we, this one's easy. That's definitely four o'clock. Do we have another one that says four o'clock? Well, let's zoom in. Does this one say four o'clock? No, that says three o'clock. Does this one say four o'clock? Well, close. The hour hand is somewhere between the four and the five, but it's not going to be four o'clock. How about this one? Ah, this one is definitely a four o'clock, so we're going to put a check mark there. And that is our last slide for that video. And that wraps up first grade module five, lesson 13, telling time. We've been looking at halves and connecting it to the fraction half. Um, it, earlier in the video, in the modules, we were talking about quarters, but when we're telling time, we're only to the hour or the half hour. And hey, if it's not too much trouble, consider subscribing to my channel.